Hi. Okay, I'm on page two, two, um, 290 on the Word Guidebook. Uh, 290, what okay. What does he mean? Yeah. What does he mean when he says pleasant, pleasing company? Can he explain that? Okay, wait a minute. 290? Okay. Yes, on the Word Guidebook. Okay, on the Word Guide. In the Word Guide, 290. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pleasing uh, company. I have to look that up. I got I got the word guide here. Oh, pleasing company. I say pleasant, pleasing company. Is that it? Correct. Is that it? Is that it, uh, Helen B.? Yes, correct. Oh, okay, it. Mr. Fuller, it's right in the middle of the page. Okay, I'm trying to find it here. Uh, sometimes I'm a little bit slow. Bear with me here. Uh, okay. 290. 290. 290. 290. I got 298. Okay, here we are, 290. And, okay, what word we're dealing with here? Pleasant slash uh, pleasing company. Right in the middle. Pleasant slash pleasing company. Racial. Use this term mostly to apply to those white people whom you suspect may be white supremacists, but are, for the most part, pleasant pleasing, and are competent to talk with, listen to, look at, and or be in the company of. Now, that's the definition. That's all. It, it's self-explanatory. Now, what question did you have about it? Is well, the lady I'll, still if there? you wanted to elaborate on it, yeah, if you wanted to elaborate on it, if you wanted to explain a little bit more about it. I don't think there's anything else to explain. You can use this term mostly to apply to those white people whom you suspect may be white supremacists, but are, for the most part, pleasant, pleasing, and are confident to talk with. And And you listen to them, it says so. They are pleasing to talk with. I've been around white people who I thought were racist, but they were comforting to talk with. They are pleasing to talk with and listen to. They give me constructive advice that I could use to produce what? Constructive results. But they were still, I suspected, were racist. So these are the kind of racists you want to be around. People who will give you information that you can use. Now, the person is a racist. You may have heard that they are racist. You may have heard that they tell what you call nigger jokes, all right, and all this type of thing. But the person is still, when they're around you, they are very pleasant. They're very pleasing in their manner. See, so, and the main thing is, do they tell you things or say things to you that you can use to produce what? Constructive results. Now, I want to say that every time about everything, because that's what I'm a bottom line, everything with when I'm talking about counter-racist codification, when I'm talking about anything, just those two words. Keep those two words in mind. Constructive results. You get up from the dinner table, you just want to know, now, this food that I ate, this Christmas dinner, is it going to produce a constructive result? Look That's around. a good question. Yeah, just remember what you just put in your stomach here on Christmas Day and ask yourself if everything that I put in my stomach here on Christmas Day, including all those bottles that somebody brought in, if I drank anything out of those bottles, is it going to produce a constructive result? But getting back to the question that was asked, same thing with conversations with anybody, okay. white or non-white. 
When you get when you walk away from them, do you walk away with a constructive result of that conversation? 